Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. This chap's a classic. This one too. David Coulthard. His picture book career began with Williams in 1994. The young Scott had natural talent, achieved a podium finish in his debut season and got his first win just a year later at the Portuguese Grand Prix. If not before, by then the F1 world was well aware of him. His new employer, as of 1996, McLaren Mercedes, Coulthard experienced his most successful years there and couldn't get enough of the unique feel of driving a Formula One car. The roller coaster ride uh, that's been put on fast forward, it's, uh, it's hot, sweaty, cramped, uh, uncomfortable. It's not at all what people would maybe consider to be the driving experience. You know, if most people think, oh, you know, to drive a fast sports car, it will be, you know, roof down, sun shining, wind in your hair, and just really enjoying the experience. Well, a Grand Prix car isn't like that. It's like a fight. He began full of motivation at Mercedes, not yet knowing he'd largely be in the shadow of a certain Hakkinen. And later, Raikkonen, those darn Finns. Nevertheless, he had great success. His record in F1, 62 podium finishes and 13 wins. But the cherished driver's title eluded him. A motorsport role model all the same. He is undoubtedly one of the top five in terms of being well known around the world and in terms of success. Well known and charming, Coulthard is seen as a man about town. Home is Monaco, where he's often encountered at parties and in classy cars. But his good luck has also suffered some fateful blows. The year 2000. Coulthard's private jet crash lands, but he has an attentive guardian angel. He and his then girlfriend survive. For the two pilots, however, all help came too late. Well, obviously uh, a sad day in that um, two people died. And, but for me, life goes on and you, you make your journey. After that, what counted for Coulthard was no longer just winning. The next career step a switch in 2005 from conservative to casual, from McLaren Mercedes to Red Bull Racing. Here, he was not driving a competitive car, but he helped develop the team. With consistency and routine in Superman style, he got Red Bull Racing their first podium finish. For a moment, I thought I had special powers, but then, unfortunately, they wore off very quickly. His success and refound easygoing air brought him great respect, making the end of his Formula One career all the tougher to take. An exceptional mentor for the young drivers also. You know, he was physically one of the fittest guys out there. And his career in many respects was, um, you know, underrated his achievements. I mean, 13 Grand Prix wins, over 60 podiums is, is a fantastic career, you know, achievement. And now he moves on to a different role. But he was always fantastic fun to work with um, whilst he was in the car. Um, very demanding, um, you know, sometimes a bit of a pain in the ass, but he was always right. In, in what he wanted and pushing the team and he pushed the team you know extremely hard and after his time in Formula One his talent continued to be in demand in 2010 it was back to his roots as Coulthard went racing for Mercedes-Benz in the DTM a completely new challenge that was fully considered some people have asked why I look at uh, DTM rather than other forms of open wheel racing, but the reality is uh, I've been to several of the races. Uh, I know it's a very competitive championship. Um, I have a long relationship with Mercedes that uh, goes back to Formula One. We were seven years together there. So there's many reasons that really appeal to me about the, the DTM racing. And obviously I know that it's a mountain for me to climb. It's, it's a completely new championship and a lot to learn, but I'm excited by that. It seems that after Formula One, he missed the adrenaline, the speed in his life. Only at home are things a little calmer around the gentleman driver. His wife Karen and son Dayton, now his great joy. The pace here, more bobby car than top speed. You know, I experienced love in my life, but I never experienced this type of love. It's incredible. 
Uh, it's obviously very challenging. Anyone who has children knows that uh, they, they don't follow a routine, uh, which is like adults, they follow their own routine. So it's quite a difficult challenge. He thus now has two challenges to master, family and DTM. But that doesn't worry a man like David Coulthard. For with 40 years on the clock, the fun's not about to stop anytime soon. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.